Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. And today we're going to be doing uh, some ribs. We're going to be doing uh, individually cut ribs. Now, if you guys saw my last video where I individually cut some ribs, uh, and I'll put the iCard up here in the top, it showed that when you individually cut your ribs and cook them individually, even though it's a little bit more work, you get that uh, bark all the way around your ribs, so not just on the top and the bottom, but you know all around to get that uh, all around goodness, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to be trying out two, two, not four, two rubs today. Uh, went down to Kansas City and checked out the uh, Kansas City Barbecue Store. Fantastic place, man. They got tons of rubs, tons of sauces, tons of smokers of any type. I could have spent all day in there just looking around okay but uh, I picked up a couple of rubs that people have been talking about that I want to try by uh, the brand name is simply marvelous and uh, I picked up two now there were several of these and uh, but they had of course taste samples where you could taste these so I tasted these and uh, this one's called Genie's Trinity and this one's called Peppered Cow so I want to try these out on some ribs and uh, we're going to be cooking them uh, sort of vortex style. We're going to be using uh, the accessory, the fire butler by my man Troy Nadal out of out in Florida. We haven't used it in quite some time. So we got it set up in uh, kind of vortex like configuration. Okay, now I'll let you see what that looks like. If you haven't seen the fire butler yet, check out the iCard card whichever side it pops up on check out the i card when we did our initial setup and when we did our initial review okay it's a great product five in one type thing you can smoke you can grill you can hibachi you can uh, vortex you can do all type of stuff with this um, with this accessory for your Weber okay so so check them out I also put their contact information down in the description block and down here right here on the screen okay so we're gonna be doing a simple cook um, and I'll show you the setup um, but we're just gonna be putting some olive oil on these I got two batches one for the, the uh, genie trinity and one for the pepper cow so let's go ahead and get this short prep work underway I'll take you out on the deck and show you the setup with the fire butler and the Weber and we'll go ahead and get cooking don't go nowhere
guys, we're done. Our cook is over. It took about three and a half hours to cook these. And uh, from what I mentioned earlier, because it was so windy outside, it was definitely hard to keep the uh, temperature down in the 250 range. It was more in the 300 range. So we're cooking these uh, hot and fast. So three and a half hours and with them splitting the individual bones, uh, they cooked uh, pretty fast. Uh, and we wrapped them in butcher paper to uh, to let them um, not really steam, um, just to um, render a little bit more of the fat and to maintain some moisture like we would if it was wrapped in foil, except that we won't have that mushy exterior, okay? So it has a little tug and a little, uh, little bite to it, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, give you a close-up look at these. Okay, so these are the pepper cow ones. As you can see, they got some nice big pieces of pepper and the seasoning can be seen. Kind of reminds me of that McCormick seasoning. Uh, when I tasted this in the store, it had a real strong pepper flavor. Um, so we're going to definitely see how these turned out. I'm really anxious to taste these, okay? And over here, we have the Genie Trinity, okay? This is more of a sweet rub when I tasted it. Uh, you can't see any large flakes of any type of seasoning on it, but it does have a nice little red color to it. So let's go ahead and have a taste test. All right, so the first one that we're going to test is going to test the Genie Trinity since it's kind of a sweet one, okay? Let's go ahead and have a bite of this. Okay, so this Genie Trinity is slightly sweet. It's a good basic rub, if you ask me. I can taste a lot of the rib that came through on it, uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the pork. So uh, it's not a very overpowering uh, seasoning, but it gives you a nice little sweet background to itself. There's uh, there's no salt, no pepper in it. So I think if I was to use this again, and when I do use it again, uh, I think I'll put a base layer of salt and pepper first, and then come back over top of it with this Genie Trinity, and uh, and see exactly how that works out. Uh, this is supposed to have paprika, sugar, cane sugar, honey, pecan meal, dry peach powder. So it's a lot of sweetness in this one here. So it does have a sweet tinge to it. So not a bad seasoning at all. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try the peppered cow, okay? Let's get one of these bad boys. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, I really like this one here. This one here has a strong kick of pepper to it. Got some great garlic I can taste in the background of it. Salt. But the large uh, pieces of, of uh, seasoning on it is fantastic. This, I believe, would be real good on a, on a brisket. It'll have that hard, peppery uh, flavor to it and a little salt, a little paprika. This would be excellent, I think, for briskets. And it's called pepper cow. So this one here has paprika salt, uh, dry honey, brown sugar. Um, and of course it has uh, ground black pepper, dehydrated onion, and uh, so forth and so on. So this, I love this one here. This one here is, is uh, may turn out to be one of my favorites, okay? Well, uh, that's all we have time for. Hey, if you guys uh, want to check out the Fire Butler, here, I'll put the link down in the description block. And at the bottom of the screen, check out Troy and the Doll and uh, the Fire Butler. It is a real good accessory. We've done everything from uh, sautéed shrimp to uh, smoked ribs with it. So it's just another accessory that goes with the Weber that gives you a lot more options um, and not, not more ways to cook things, okay? Uh, also, these Simply Marvelous rubs are good. Like I said, they make several, several more. And um, we got these from the Kansas City Barbecue Store, so I'm sure you can get these online. I'll put a couple links somewhere where I can find them online for you in case you're interested in purchasing these, okay? But, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. See you guys around the smoker. Love that pepper cow. Damn. <laughs>